shave that if you shave right. that. Save that, it should be fine. And it did, so. Okay, we're good to go. Let's see. Waiting on it to. Hello, people. How are you guys doing? Just fine. Whoa. That was a lot of, a lot of feedback. Oh, well, get your feedback now. What do you mean? What do you, right, look, look. What do you have you, audio? What are you doing over there? What am I doing over there? I'm trying to crash your phone. <laughs> trying, trying to do something over there, like rub your mic. What? No, I'm nowhere near the mic. What are you talking about, Willis? Pretty much. Wednesday. Wednesday is the new day of our show. Because <laughs> oh, it must be feedback. Oh, over there. <laughs> oh, there trying to get you right. Um, greetings, Greg. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know Should what's causing. Talk? I don't know what's causing the noise. All that noise. It's just crazy, crazy noise. It's got a whole bunch of noise. I don't, I don't hear nothing much, but sound. How come I don't what see? It? How don't? How come I don't see it? I don't. Why don't you see it? Because I can't see it. I'm looking right at it. It says live. You are live. I'm at the. You. You see what I see. I see what you see. And for some odd reason, I'm not seeing what you're seeing. And you see oh, there. there. Right there. Okay, that's there dope. you go. Okay, there we go. We do have audio, so we're good. <laughs> hey guys. Oh man. What in so the good. world? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did not mean to play that. Nobody was ready for that. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. I don't even know what <laughs> what that was. Yeah, how did that come up? Anyway? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't click on it. So anyway, uh, so we got we got NASA's over there. Sir, we're looking to at pop out the chat. Pop it out. Pop out. We? Pop out the chat. There we go. This way he can see it like he post. That way, I can go like this. It says NASA systems. Say something. <laughs> Say something. See, I could literally just. Yeah, you're supposed to be able to do that. Cover I think that. you're supposed to, be able to do that. And that way, you yeah. can see it. <laughs> well, you know. You know. There you go. <laughs> So, so what were we gonna talk about tonight? <laughs> uh, um, um, oh, 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 I mentioned it. Like, God, I hope it, you better not change. If you change again, I'm gonna be so mad. Anyway, so we're gonna we're gonna give you a little chat about oh, bombers, which is great. That's why the mic sounds like that. You're using that mic. What? The headphone mic, the little thing that's on your shirt. No, I'm not using the headphone mic. I never use the headphone mic. I yeah. use the one on the cameras. Well, it must be picking up that something. Cause it's... <laughs> it sounds like it's rubbing up against something. Oh, well, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Unless, unless, would you hear this? Yeah, I don't I don't know why it's doing that. So we're um, we were gonna talk bombers today, um, which is a good thing because as you can see over there, well maybe you can, maybe you can. Uh NASA's has built himself a nice big new bomber. Well, okay. Not exactly a bomber, but he built himself a new bird. A new new size anyways. <laughs> <laughs> it's no, definitely he's... not new. I mean it's new today. Woman, I, put the... I swear to God. What is... Look at that. There you go. Yeah, look at that. Look at that thing. Look you like just got to get involved? You got to get involved? Looks, yeah. look, 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 leave your mama for that. Looks like the one that ran away. Yeah. <laughs> oh. He going he gonna, he gonna to be left cat. Anyway. 
So yeah, <laughs> and sponsored by. <laughs> I'm gonna crush your planes. Well, again, those are retiring. He could do that. Don't be, don't be on those. You're freaking the little kitty out now. He, he hears a noise. He like. Oh, He's trying God. to figure out where it comes from. He made that noise. So um, yeah. So Mark built himself a new Diablo. There, he wasn't intending to. Apparently, right? Uh, yeah, I wasn't intending to. <laughs> And got himself a uh, giant Diablo, which is, well, like, see, you said 11 inches? Yeah. It's probably it's a, pretty good. Yeah, it's, it's probably pretty, at least a pretty good fighter bomber size, if not approaching medium bomber. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely uh, much larger than the original. Um, I don't even know what size. the. I would say the original is probably closer to this. At least that, yeah, probably, I mean, a little small. Yeah, you, probably. Just using half a sheet of paper, right? Yes. Okay, so, yeah, it's got to be somewhat similar. Raptor right there. Yes. I would imagine. That's yeah, great. probably closer to, you know, here. From here to here. Okay. So, yeah, so, again, people, he's, he's showing a really good demonstration then of exactly how big, depending on... It, it dep the bombers depend on two things, just like the transport depends on two things. It's more like not just size, but it also has to do with structural integrity. If he built this out of what kind of paper is that, Mark? This is out of the uh, Manila folder paper. Okay. So this is so like cardstock paper almost. Like yeah, paper. so it's very thick. Yeah, it's super, super thick. In which case, that one could almost be like even without the size being there, the stiffness the stockiness of it you could probably make it a medium bomber because it could get you can get a, or a medium transport because it can get away with holding holding or carrying more stuff yeah it could heavier probably stuff. carry one or two diablos itself yeah <laughs> so it's i mean it's a it's pretty sturdy like the wings are not they're not going anywhere right right so i was so, and, and something that i was looking at putting on this to kind of help with the stability of it because Diablo flies, you know, good without, you know, any hedrals or anything like that. But this, right, right. this, because of the size of it needs more stability. So I'm thinking about taking something along the lines of this and running it from like here to here straight back so kind of like kind of like that so you're having some kind of underwing straight going on yeah that's pretty cool yeah it's more more or less like a longer one um but this was like one of the little strips that i had to cut off of this to make this straight um, i wonder if you could oh i wonder what it would do if since that is so thick I wonder if you could, like, with, like, an exacto knife. I wouldn't suggest doing this now, of course, but it just made me think. If you were to cut a slit in where the rudder is and make it a certain length, I mean, whatever it is, one inch, two inch, three inch, up, up towards the nose of the plane, right right at your, you know, the fattest point before it gets too narrow, and set in a sheet of paper or even another sheet of the manila so you have, like, a tail plane underneath. You're talking about here? In the back, in the very yeah, in the very back in the rudder, yeah, and cut like like I said, like knife in a slit that runs the length of the fuselage up for about an inch to two inches. So from yeah, like so here you, here to here. Yeah, somewhere middle middle, uh, about halfway up, maybe closer to the keel. Well, no, you can oh, put you're it, talking you can put about, it you're talking about you're talking about this way. Yeah, exactly. Oh. And then and then like you could cut in like an extra wing in there, or you could put in a strake itself. It could just be something square. So you're talking about something. something like that, but, yeah, but going exactly. to the middle. Because mm -hmm. you don't want it at the very bottom. The very bottom probably wouldn't work as well as it would be if it was up you, a little bit. And you would want it almost middle. Yeah. And you would probably want it like right here maybe? Yes. And all the way to the back maybe. I wouldn't even – and it definitely wouldn't be, of course, as wide as your wings. It would only be small. Yeah, it would, it would probably only, they, be – Like that? Thing? Yeah, yeah, maybe exactly. I mean, this is something that I mean. Again, you can play with it that's in a, that's, certain. That's like a whole new technology, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> kind of, sort of. 
I've done something like that with, with striking, and like I I need to work on it some more because if you could do stuff like that with it, especially with a thicker bond like Manila folder, that could turn out really cool. But it could also be disastrous. So you know you'd have to yeah, really like play. this. This I think is too flimsy for it. Oh, but of course, yeah. Like, um, I think it would need to be a little bit a little bit wider. Um, but unfortunately, I don't think I have any. But I mean, all you would have to do is like, if you could just cut something that shape, like that right there, the tip of this. So it comes to a point, you know, and then the other side is a half fold going the other direction. So it looks like a tailplane is on the back end on the bottom right there. I mean, it'd be perfect. Oh, yeah. You could do it like right back here, too. Yeah. That would be. We're under attack. Yeah, to... we're, we're under yeah, attack. Aircraft guns are firing. Yeah, we're just running some tests. But but anywho, um, yeah. So he's got this new large Diablo, and it, it, again, it is showing um, because of its construction, what it's constructed with, and its size. You could go anywhere from a fighter bomber to a medium bomber. Um, I in this one's case, I would suggest medium or medium transport, as it were, because of the thickness of it, not just the size. Um, if it was a lighter stock paper, if it was your regular paper or worksheet paper that it yeah. was, um, but it was bigger. Then I would say that'd be a medium transport as well because it just doesn't, it's not capable of holding as much. Yep. But as typical with stuff, this is all up to the contractor, how you build it, you know, so. But you definitely want these planes to be stronger and bigger than your standard combat fighters. Yeah, and that wasn't even my intentions on building this. It, my, my intentions were to build something along the lines of something similar to like this size. Whoa. Um, or even this size. Right, and it came out that way, huh? And it just came out because of the thickness of it and the, you know, having to fold it. Right. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna build the Diablo and see how this turns out and then just add some new technology on it and see what I can come up with. And then if that technology works, then I might add it to a regular one and see what we get with that. Because my goal now, I'm trying to find my long range plane. I'm trying to find what that's going to be. Well, it would be nice if you do it like, like, like you're illustrating right there. If you add to your large plane uh, inventory as well, though, since the, you know, the uh, well, loss yes. of the Black Squire and the Black Knight. <laughs> well, yes. I mean, because I, that was my other goal. My my intent was if I'm going to make a large plane out of this, like I, like halfway through it, um, I was like, you know what? Let me just make Black Knight or Black Squire V2. Just call it a day. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then just go from there. I mean, they are your designs. You can tweak them however you want. Um, but that didn't happen. It just, the, the thought didn't come to me um, the way <laughs> I wanted it to. The, the paper didn't want to work the way I wanted it to. Um, because I even wrote in the book that the original size of the paper, because I had to cut it twice, the original size of the paper was eight and three sixteenths uh, by eleven and seven sixteenths, so it was bigger than this, but it wasn't. Oh, so it was large. Okay, it was, it was large. even. Yeah, it was larger, um, and it wasn't. It just the edges weren't even. So when you folded it, try to to fold the center line, it was uneven on three of the four sides. So you had. You, I don't think, I was trying to remember that myself even after talking with you about Squire and Knight. And I was like, I don't think we were even into like the Chinese menu stage yet. So you couldn't have used Chinese menus on those. Even though I swear to God, I thought that's where you were. I was, it, I, we was, I, was using that, I was using that in calendar paper. It, yeah, see, I think they must have been calendar paper. They had to have been calendar yeah, they, paper. They were definitely that size because that's where I was getting it from. Right. It was during that time frame. Cool. I, I, got okay. those, I got those big calendars, um, and that's what we were. That's what we the, were using. Uh, 
Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, so dude, I'm, desk calendar I may have paper. even used. I may have even used a full size one. Desk for... calendar paper comes in handy for the largest ones. Yeah, that's nuts. Two thousand twelve. Two thousand five. Don't get rid of them. They're harder to come by. This is more expensive than the average Joe. This this would definitely be probably approaching a large transporter bomber. Calendar paper has a tendency to be about a thicker bond than the typical birds, so. Yeah, I mean, some of them are a little bit thicker than others. It's true, they are. I mean, there's some there's some calendars I just outright tossed because they were, like, really flimsy. There's, like, no way I would get anything out of them. Yeah, unless, I mean, unless you double. You could double. You could. Them. Yeah, you could. And that would still give you a lot. Plus, plus, when you're dealing with that, actually, if, if, if you want to go that route, um, the thinner ones would probably allow you more internal structure if you want to build that framework for the plane. If you want to build, like, the internal skeleton, you know, having wing spars and and blocks and, and fire breaks and stuff like that. I mean, hey, lighter bond paper would probably help you out. It would be more forgiving than something like his manila folder there. Yeah, I'm just writing in the record book, <laughs> if you couldn't tell. Uh, the the uh, new tech of possibly cutting in a tailplane back there, too, maybe? Well, the fact that what I actually built and um, the fact that I didn't record Raptor and what it is. Oh, um, really? I didn't, right. I didn't put that in here because um, I really haven't written since March uh, in the book. Ouch. So. That's about the last time we recorded. Yeah, you really did. You yeah, really I, were busy, dude. I, 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 yeah, I mean, school and all that stuff was kicking my butt, so. It was That's my okay. it was my last semester, so I was cramming everything in, and, you know. <laughs> Just try to get it done, man. Just try to get well, it done. Well, yeah, because, I mean, I had to take, I have to take full, full semesters anyways to get the benefits from, for my stuff, so it doesn't paid to do any other way so this is true so anyway um he's got the size uh he's showing a good size illustration i've got a pretty good size sheet to show you there i mean this thing's uh well about 19 almost 20 inches long well 19 inches long um so you know the sizes you know what to expect your any other bombers in your transports even the lightest ones even the smallest ones like the fighter bomber um we use that term to make them bigger than your standard combat aircraft which is Typically in the five to eight inch range. Um, of course, you could make bigger, you can make smaller. It depends on the size of your force, but I mean, the average size of one of your planes. Um, as long as they're upsized variants of whatever you use. I mean, if your standard combat planes are 10 to 12 inches, well, then bigger than bigger, you know, bigger than that would be starting to creep into transport range. So, bomber range. Um, and uh. he just we just say that, I especially say that because as I've grown as a uh, paper airplane contractor and designer, I have made progressively smaller and smaller birds. Like, I used to make m my front liners were 10 to 12 inches long. Possibly a 7 or 9 inches wide. But now, this is Banshee. Banshee's only 7 inches long. And the phase is only 8 inches. That's that's about my standard size. Boy, the machine guns are loud. <laughs> six, six to eight inches, you know. So I, I've shrunk. Um, I'm like, as to how they would fly, well, it's been kind of to, for lack of a better pun, up in the air. Like, they should probably be. I mean, your transport should probably be stable. I mean, because chances are you're going to be carrying something underneath, inside of it, or on top of it. You really don't want that plane to... I mean, you want it to glide. Pretty much in a straight line. That's that's genuinely it. So the, the most stable plane you can have, glide in a straight line. And whatever range you see fit, depending on what it's going to do, depending on what it's going to do. So if you've got a bigger plane that's going to haul a whole other plane up to the front lines... You know, but you don't want it to, like, throw it off on the way there because it could be intercepted by the enemy. 
you just got to make it straight. This is why it came to my, you know, attention. It's like, oh, my God, Javelin would probably be really good if it was upsized because Javelin does that anyway. I mean, yeah, a lot of them corkscrew, but it's pretty easy to make an upsized plane fly straight level because you can add, like what NASA is pointing out here with this Diablo, it's, it's easier to add all kinds of stability things to it when it's big. You can put a straight, you can put a fin. And, of course, if you make it on a vanilla paper like he's showing there, I mean, it, the weight penalty is negligible. So throwing stuff on there, including the carriage of the weight, no problem. Yeah, because we've done that for um, quite, a, quite a few other planes, like just upscaling them and, and just adding technology to it to see if we can make it better. It's true. I mean, yeah, they just, I mean, the bottom line, of course, is like when it comes to something like this, I mean, it, it's true with anything, but I mean, like you, you want to build your, not, you, you want your interceptor pretty quickly. You do want to have that thing because it's crucial to have that thing. You go into a paper airplane battle, you're going to want an interceptor. But um, the other thing you're going to want is your, not maybe your best glider, but a really good dependable glider. So you know every time it goes out there, you know, you know what it's going to do and you know how it's going to do it because then you start to build, I don't know, 600 of them because then you can start <laughs> right. throwing all this, you start throwing all this technology on there. 600 is being generous. <laughs> <laughs> I think you, I mean, I don't even know what number you're up, up to on base. I'm, only, I'm still only in the sixes. I slowed down because like you with Thunderbolt, I was trying to give the others a chance, you know, so. Right. Yeah. Cause I got over. I don't even know what number I got over. It's over 400 and something. Yeah, see, so, I mean, but again, if you have something dependable, I mean, I mean interceptors do work, has good test test products for certain things. I mean, again, something to add stability. If you've got something, that, a rock with wings, it's going to flow in a straight line. Well, let's see what we can add to it to make it that much more stable. So there's that. And these are things that would translate out to the transports and bombers. Because, again, these are things you probably want to fly in a straight line. The bombers can glide a little bit more. But basically, you can have your transport duplicate as your bomber. Basically. Yes. Yeah you, yeah, you can. I mean, depending on size. and I mean, I guess it really wouldn't matter too, too much. But, like, this could be like a fighter bomber, too. Oh, yes, right. Like, it, right. It, it's relative to the size because it is smaller than a typical transport or anything like that or a typical, you know, medium. This, Yeah, and this would depend on this would depend on you, of course, again, being the contractor in your core. I mean, like, if the next two planes you build are both bigger than that, well, then it just def defaulted into being the light transport of the fighter bomber. Correct, but if you yeah. Build, you build one that's smaller than that slightly, it's like, ah, maybe I've got something in the middle here. Yeah. By, yeah. by no means should that be a heavy, but it could work. I mean, again, if you build something super strong and it's only that big, hey, maybe that is a heavy. Maybe it's, maybe you can carry more planes than the rest of them, you know, so. Yeah, I mean, if I put, if I put like chopsticks or something in the wings and it still flew, yeah, you know, and maybe one down the, down the center, then yeah, possibly you could consider it if it still flies, that's the, that's the, <laughs> the whole key here. If it still, yeah, exactly. If it still flies, because the weight, because the weight, weight becomes an issue with these, with the heavies, um, and stability with the wings, um, always became an issue with the heavies because we always just built them big, and they flew, but the wings were so flimsy because <laughs> they were just so big, trying to, you can't, they can't really carry that weight. People do not use poster, like, uh, what is that stuff called? You know, when you have presentation paper on that giant notepad that you can actually flip, oh, my God, don't bother with that stuff. I mean, unless you oh, fold yeah. it in quarters, holy cow. Uh, even Javelin came out flimsy, and that's something to say. I mean, Jesus, that paper sucked. I mean, I suppose if you, like I said, fold it in quarters before you start folding wings and stuff. I don't even know what that's called, like. I think it's. I think it's literally. I think you call it presentation paper. Is it, is that what it's called? I'm not. I'm not sure. You could try like. it. I. I only had a few sheets of it, and I did not like. I remember building a javelin and a phase out of it. And the phase was just. 
it bent in the middle every time. It was horrible. I mean, again, you could put large now, easel pad. Easel pads, yes, yes. Yes. Like those things. Oh my god. And presentation. See, it says presentation paper in that list. Yeah. So it's like, oh my god. Those things. It, it does offer offer you like he was just pointing out chopsticks. If you use some kind of skeletal structure, it's probably ideal for that. Plus, you're going to need it. Else, that plane's going to come apart. Yeah. That's I mean, just, the, that's just the crazy. face folded. The face folded in mid-flight. And the javelin, although it flew when it landed, just killed the wings because the nose is the only strong part of it. Yeah, that, that, they burned. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would, I would say so because that's just there's just no structure there. But like, well, like, I don't think any of like, mine could could have handled that. Well, like Robert likes to point out that like Robert likes to do is like if you're going to take your plane and laminate it, you you tape it, you laminate whatever you do. That, on the other hand. Ah, that, well, that's got potential. You know, that can make it stronger. You know what? Yeah, we've never done that with one of the big ones. I guess we could. That would that would, that would in essence take care of the structural issue because it's a solid wing at that point. Right. Right. And I mean, that's again, potential Ooh. um see to that, do something. <laughs> see that gives me thoughts. <laughs> okay. Well, he does it. He does it like over on his channel. He's talking about the Zeus right now. He was showing instructions on how to build that, and he was also building the owl. Um, but what he was showing was that like he, the plane turned out after his folding, it turned out so small that like a standard sheet, um, standard tape, like this big a tape, your, your duct tape size roll, yeah, it would cover even the wingspan. So all you needed to do was put one sheet down, and the entire plane was covered. You would just trim off the edges. So that's an easy way of going about it. But obviously you can see you were trying to laminate this. You're going to have a little bit more of a problem. It can be done. It's just you got to be more exact. I don't even think, can you suffer through an overlap? Would you want to? You would try to keep the weight down? Would it matter? You know, these things. If it was, if it was up, if you could keep the wings up and not bend, then I don't think it would matter. Right. That's the I thing. Yeah, like, you're right. They I would, don't think they so would have to. They would have to stay straight the entire time. And if that's the case, then they would basically look like this. And then you could, yeah, you could in essence fly it. It would just take a lot more force. To ladies to get and gentlemen, it. doesn't that plane look really ordinary? Yet it flies extraordinary. I mean, that looks like the plane that you see on like clip art and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty close. Kind of like phases do. I mean, again, you know, phase two is eh, pretty much a common plane. Yeah, it's almost like this. It's 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 pretty close. (laughs) It's pretty close. I mean, yours didn't have the big slant in the in the fuselage, so it did not, does not, cannot. And phase two, and phase two is completely retired now. I don't even have it in the reserves doing the bombing or the cargo rolls anymore. I mean, okay, I'm kind of questioning that decision now, but right now it's gone. So it's just too, too common, just too common. I might. That thing would benefit really good from, uh, oh, man. Well, it could do so many things. I don't I, I love the plan for him. You have a. You have a plan form like that. You have a shape like that. And you can put so much stuff on there. Especially since I know it flies good. I know your Dalbros fly good. So Looks like he's trying to think about combining stuff like we did with the Phantom Lightning. Kind of in a way. I'm just looking at size mm-hmm. ratio now of like adding strakes here. Yeah. And then adding the fin back here. So then I have the stability here and then the the strakes here to kind of help stabilize the wing. Right. But this will help channel. You could actually put a, cr- a rudimentary version of VLEs on there. I remember that one. Oh, man. The vertical lift engine. Holy cow, dude. That thing was so complex. But, but it did what it was supposed to do. Are you talking about the uh, the tubes? In a way, yeah. I built I built an actual box. I had 
I can show you this because I have this giant sheet of paper here. But on the plane, and this was a phase, of course, I built these boxes, essentially, kind of looking like the intake trunks of an F-15. But on the underwing, uh, can you guys see this? I had, I'll try to draw it so you see it from that view. The wing form was like this. So the intake looked like this. The box was just a sheet of paper that was folded to form a box, and it ended here because it was a vertical lift engine. I mean, a, what I like to call a total bypass engine is just the air, you know, like the tube he's talking about. Air goes in, air forced out. I mean, in a, that's a very rudimentary engine. It works for the planes. Because if it's sucked in and speeded up as it goes out, it's an engine. But the vertical lift, what I did was we had the intake in here, so the air went in, was forced into there, and on the inside, this was the complicated part, I had a, another ramp that went down like this, with a hole at the bottom that had flaps here and here. So when the air went in, it went straight down. It hit. It would hit this ramp, and instead of going out the back, it would go straight down. Ah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I've seen. I've so, seen you do that. Yeah. Yes. Um, very stupid, but it, in a way, it's like okay, it was unique to try. See if you could do it. Um, but obviously a dumb idea in theory because if you fly the plane, the air goes in, it forces it down, so the airplane just goes, blah, 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 and it did. But that proves the engine was working because that's what the plane did was flip. Oh, because it forced the back end to go up. Right, yeah. It was All the air went in, pushed down, and yeah, the back end just went up. I mean, you would want to try to do something like that to the front end because the front end is what destroys flights for every one of our planes. I mean, what, what, what makes your plane go down is, of course, you know, gravity. So anything that fights it, well, the biggest lift you get is from your wings. Um, but the front end is, you know, speed, launching capability. You can't build a brick and so make So you're fly. saying up here, put one of those. Like, yeah, like, ideally. Ideally, like this length. Mm -hmm. canards, canards are a way of doing it cheaply by putting the extra set of wings up in the front. Something that provides lift with area like... You know, there's a lot of lift back here. It's broad. There's not much lift here because it tapers. That's why the planes glide down that way. I mean, this is rudimentary aerodynamics. But you put a canard up here. You put an engine up here. Something that caused the front end to lift some more. Then, then, then you achieve superior glides. Yeah. See, why don't you why don't you show that again? You know, why don't you why don't you show that? <laughs> not because that's what we're talking about, but because look at that. Like, this is why I can't stand that plane. Because <laughs> I I don't know which one is that the twenty two. Give me a break, dude. This is just an amp. I call it the amp because it's advanced materials. This is made out of the same thing. You could call Diablo that you call it the AMD because <laughs> it'd be an advanced materials Diablo, but it's made out of the manila paper, you know. So at the time, keep yes, in mind, but it, okay, like, so it's keep in mind this was thirty years ago. It's like a what is it? A, Four? Five? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's... No, yeah. four. See? See, I know too well. Like, that looks like a four, but see, you added the extra uh, fins on the top, too. Yeah, this was when... Actually, these are some of the first fours that rolled out, even though they became threes again. They cycled back to threes because these come off too easily. I mean, I just taped them on. But I was tired of trimming the STEs off of here and then not using them. So I started putting them on there. So it became fins. And when they fly, they fly really good. But it, it like, he's going to find out, Mark, you're going to find this out when you start putting the strakes on there. If they're not symmetrical, boy, you're going to have problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it got to be straight. Because I've already had that issue with, even with, with this here. Yes, um, yes. You know, with them not being straight or them, you know, or at least symmetrical to the other one if they're not angled the same if one's kicked out and the other one's up it the, it'll frustrate you to no end because yeah they'll start corkscrewing well, and one or, of the one yeah of mostly the thing, they'll corkscrew one other thing that i've had to mess with is this tip right here that is that so flimsy that this wants to curl or at least this one wants to curl and this one's flat like those yes yeah yeah, and, and, I know. And it's well, a pain because you got to get those to be straight, too. Well, um, again, a well, a, 
You have it, two it options with to, them. You have two options drag, with that. Drag down. Right. You have two options with that. Well, actually, you have three options. One, I mean, the I basic could, one, cut, cut it, it right off. off. Yeah, yeah, I could cut it right off, but I don't know. I kind of like the look of it. Right. Two, <laughs> you could, with minimal use, tape them. You probably have to counterbalance the weight of the tape back there with some extra tape in the nose. Whatever you put on there, you put on the nose. I don't think I would need to because this is this is pretty heavy up front. Okay. Then the other and the other third option would be to genuinely just fold them, fold them into some form of flap, because once you put a hinge on it, then you've got control again of where they go. I mean, it's yeah. I could like, literally a, cut it this way, cut mm -hmm. it, cut it this way, and then fold it up you know so it is now a, a channel well hell you don't even need to cut it you could just fold it the way it is fold you fold your flap that way i mean because that's essentially what it's doing on its own it's curling but it's folding so if you just fold it like i said you gain the control back so you can make it go where you want it to go yeah i don't like how open this is though it's not something you can really control though unless you tape it no Unless you tape it, have you have you experimented with that though? Those no, years? not yet, not yet. I'm, I'm that gonna, could be I'm, something coming up. Yeah, Dude, you could. I've got to make more just, of those though. You could staple the CG. That way, it's still free in the back. It just won't be as wide as it is right now. Yeah, if I did it right there. Mm-hmm. Because that way, it won't separate that much. Yeah, if I did it right there, or even right there, that would still not be terrible compared to that <laughs> you know what i'm saying because it's just too yeah, much yeah. too much uh wasted energy going into that and pushing pushing all that air that way instead of it actually going over and through these or or hey another alternative Again, talking since we're talking about engines, I, I have this Banshee here, and I'll talk about this here in a minute, but, but same see, doing yours, the same thing. Yeah, yours is doing the same thing, though, and yours flies. But like... what you could do is hold it, pinch it so it's like this. See, like mine, okay, mine wide is like this. I pinch it, it's about halfway, and then you could take, like, that strip that you got cut off there and tape it right there or something or something. Don't have to be taped, and that way it holds it in that thing and uh in that shallower trench if you will it's not as wide and then you know uh -huh. cut it it's just back here or cut it length in there or even if you want cut it so that there's a whole body but then you're making it again as wide as you want yeah and then you're kind of basically creating another sort of an engine to kind of help create lift right or making a basic fuselage in the case of the diablo there in which case you could store something inside like a transport <laughs> yeah, because I mean, circle. I could open this one up a little bit, but this one's just naturally not that wide. Naturally. Naturally. So I had. But, so that's the, I'm gonna take a two this, second break, and I'm gonna go get my exacto knife. Okay. Because I think I am gonna cut into that one. Okay. Cool. Well, wait for you. I will. I will mention my uh, new rollout here of these. Uh, these aren't exactly brand new Banshees. Um, these were taken off of Spec 3s. Some of you guys will recognize this because the you know the original Banshee Spec 1s were straight. The nose is a little bit less clipped, less severe. Um, but, but Spec 3 introduced the slanted leading edge here. Um, it's not as well accepted because it kind of takes Banshee out of the realm of what I got it using for. So these two were built just yesterday, as a matter of fact. This is example one, this is example two. Um, I don't know the numbers yet. I don't know where the Banshee line that is. That was much quicker than I anticipated. That was. Um, but these these are... This is... I'll admit I was kind of doing what Mark did there. I mean, like, I knew... I, I've done this before, but... You know, like So well, nervous. Tail planes back here. Yeah, that's a pretty good idea. This is something Banshee's <laughs> had. This is something Banshee... I don't remember if I've done this one on Banshee before, but it worked pretty good. These planes are ridiculous. The Spec 4, which is what these are, takes Banshee right out of close range support and right into almost medium to long range. These things are crazy inside. I would have flown them outdoors yesterday, but it was quite windy, and I would not have gotten the desired results. 
Um, they are a little... There's a slight variation in size, mostly because of the tailplane. They get trimmed. This one is almost exactly seven inches long. This one is six and three quarters. Yeah. And that's so, the other thing, is that most of our planes are not the exact same size every time we build them either. Well, they, dude, paper airplanes are pretty much thumbnails. I mean, I don't even think a paper airplane factory could get each and every one the exact same. Like those ones you can buy in the books in those kits. They, there's no way those can come out the exact same every time. There's got to be little nuances that are different. Well, yeah, because um, the kids have one. Um, the pages are the same. Um, but us folding it is is the the factor that makes it that makes each plane different. Right. Because I can't get them along the line on those lines exact <laughs> every time. I just can't. Like, well, cause that yeah. could, that could be the, the issue of the plane because the machine could be off by a centimeter or something like that, drawing those lines. Right. Right. But I, I don't okay. think they're, they're standard size paper either. I think they are small. No, I, yeah, I don't know what size they're using, but you're right. I think they are. I've got one too. I don't know. I never take it apart to measure it because it was completed for me, but yeah, it's I think it's something different. Okay, so here comes the moment of truth that he's nervous about. You can tell he's nervous because he keeps moving his hands back and forth to the plane. <laughs> <laughs> the camera's shaking. <laughs> oh, and on on the topic, okay, so like first, I said, we kind first, of introduce you no, to the sizes. First, first, I need to, I need to, um, I need to, I need first, to, yeah, I gotta have first this. First, he needs to. I gotta, I gotta do this. I gotta decide. The, what you're gonna make out of it? Yeah, the the length and the uh, um and the design of this fin. Okay. Um. But um, where I was going with that? Sorry. Um. I'm so nervous. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't like cutting into my don't planes. Don't be shy. You're a, dude, I don't, I don't, don't like, be shy. You're a creator. You know how to make a Diablo. Yeah. You've got more Manila paper. Even if you screw it up, you've got others. Don't like cutting into my planes. This is how you experiment. This is what gave me 600 phases, man. Come on. Because you um, are willing to take risk and cut. Just yeah, you cut see where it him. got me. You hate my plane. I, I do. I can't stand that stinking thing. Um, it's got the most um, records. So anyway, uh, the bombers, we kind of explain bombers. And it, in a way, that explains transports. So you got your sizes. You got your flight plans. Flight plans pretty much um, as straight and level, as glidable as they can be, but not as far a distance as you need it, but uh, totally up to you. Um, bombers can glide a little bit more than the transports can because their loads may not slip off as easily. You're probably more than likely they're going to keep the weapons on board longer and keep them more secure. Um, the other option, since we're still talking bombers, is the dive bomber. Uh, whether or not you have that, um, like I have one, Vampire Upsized is doing that now. Um, this is a very, this is also a crucial thing because when you think about it, once you've made your move, you're moving into the enemy, you know, you, the attack planes, the dive bombers, they both do the same kind of thing. You throw them at the ground, they pull up. So they're dispensing their load on top of the enemy. Boom. Um, you just want something bigger to do it. So the dive bombers do. Did he make the first cut yet? No, I haven't. I have to design the wing, the fin. Oh, you, oh yeah, you want to... Okay, my bad. You're trying to figure out exactly how you want it to look. You could start out with a basic square if you want, or you can just... No, 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 that's... No. Or better... Well, here's a better... Wait, here's a better idea. Keep your Diablo on it. Keep the Diablo on it, and make it with the same uh, rake of leading edge that it has. That way it's, you know, the same degree. I mean, I can't tell... Hard to tell what that is. That, yeah. Let's put sphere yeah, straight. Yeah. yeah, this is not... You're talking about this, right? Yeah, you're leading... Well, no, you're leading edge. Like, oh, you're talking about this? Yeah, like, yeah, putting it up here. Like, you can make a match this. Yeah, there you go. I mean, th not necessary. It's just a good starting point. I would make him look, I mean, myself, I would make him look kind of like my fins that are on this thing right here. Not, that's not what I was kind of thinking of. 
but not was, too deep. I was thinking about kind of making them more rounded in the in the front. So let me get a scrap sheet of paper here because uh, I don't really want to draw on this one. I'm being so bad. You have to forgive oh, yeah. me, folks. Here we being go. Bad about this. Yeah, here we go. So I was kind of wanting it something like, like if this is the the back of the fin, mm -hmm. then you have your your center, and then this is kind of rounded. Okay. Kind of like kind of like that. Where it's it's kind of rounded. Oh, no. Let me see here. So this is. I'm gonna do one with you. I'm not gonna put it on my plane, but I'm just gonna do a fin. But like I got an idea of one here. See, this is. Okay, so you draw the design. Fold the paper in half. You draw the design, and then that way when you cut, you can only have to follow your cut on the one line, and it's obviously gonna fold it on the other one. But this is kind of what he's talking about. But mine's a little bit more. To the extreme. I'm gonna give it more like a manta ray kind of thing. Yeah, because yours comes more to a point. Yeah. There you go. Mine, mine. Yeah, mine would look like that. For example. For example, because you could do anything you want. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of like that. I would just, yeah. I would just slide that puppy on it. Mine's more flimsy, of course, because I'm not using the manila folder you've got. So your wing would be a lot stronger. I mean, obviously, you can build a the basic fin. I did that backwards, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> you, you really don't want to do it that way. Yeah, you want to cut it the opposite direction. Yeah. Like that. I would. Yeah, most likely, I would do that one there and that one there, and that's the simple one. I mean, obviously, but that would work. You know. That's kind of the concept but I like the bigger one just because that's kind of where I'm going with it it makes it more but unique you're saying, right? a little but, bit you, of a but you're saying yeah you're saying fold oh yeah definitely fold I mean, you have to because like when you get whatever design you like however you've drawn it then you fold it and then all you got to do is do you know cut along that one line instead of getting it both you're not going to do that because yeah, once you fold you just got your one line yeah Make that way you don't have to worry about it being symmetrical. It will come out symmetrical, unless you suck at cutting, mm -hmm. or or suck at folding. I should say because actually that's more bearing on what you're doing. Yeah, well, this isn't straight either. This isn't. No? This isn't. Yeah, these these. Like, like you go to met, line this up. This isn't straight. That's why I had to trim that but if I at least start on but if I at least start on this side <laughs> this this uh this one brought to you by exacto <laughs> right I've got but that yeah, I've got that handle too that's in that's in my I've got two handles I know I've probably just made this show unlicensable but for shout out to our razor makers there because you can't you can't hobby without these. You cannot hobby without these. Alright, so always, always have a nice I'm collection. Always have a nice collection of blades. Yep, yep, yep. And if any of you want to go out there and get those rounded cutters, or if you have them, yeah, please show us some of that because I wanted to try those and I don't know exactly how. Mm -hmm. How would be any different these to get before. them? Okay, so let's see where I want to start this thing. So if this is, I wouldn't make them like I would not make them too large, of course. I right. would only make them. Yeah, I'm just trying to make them. Maybe about an inch and a uh, inch and a half to two inches long, and then only about an inch wide. Because they seriously could be disastrous. But I mean, the beauty of it is, is you're not really destroying the plane at all because it's Manila folder. It's very resilient, and you could slide different tailplanes in there and test them out. If anything, 
thicker paper makes it a hell of a lot better to test stuff. Something like that would be good for like, like OAE's MUPS, you know, the little multi-purpose pods. Um, this, that's basically doing the exact same thing again because if he uses the pods for carriage and stuff like that, and, and they're great for like a cargo, a weapon. Um, but again, going back to what we were saying, has in like rudimentary engines, keeping it, you know, if they have a slight taper and there's an open backside and an open front side, hey, it's it, again, we got engines. And the beauty of those things, they're like um, the Pisces from some of the planes that I've built which is basically, you know, cylindric power stability units, as I called them. And it's because they're basic engines, and they help the stability of the plane out. Air going in there already circula you know, circulates, comes out, keeps it stable. Oof. I need a bigger surface. I'm still here. I'm just going over here, because I can't. After you look at my sheet of paper, as I'm going to go over here. Here I go. Always handy to have a bigger desk right off of your smaller desk so you can fold, 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 and fold some more. I have, you can't, you guys can't see it, but I have my hobby desk right off at L to my righty desk, my typey desk. So, like, my painting, airbrushing, cutting, soldering. I say soldering because I've heard it from like three people lately. Soldering. Who the hell calls it solder? Give me a break. What? Okay, this is turning out. Hey, we're Smith. Thank you. So, does he have it? Oh, he's for me. He's for me. <laughs> Moment of silence, please, people. Yeah, because now, now I gotta I... now I gotta get this folded. As with all of our shows, it usually turns out into some kind of plain folding extravaganza, which is what I would hope you guys would want to see. By the way, I'll try to get that. Uh, my first, uh, my first plane. I'm, I'm, I'm making the video now, so it should be up there sometime in the Let it know. Uh, next year. <laughs> promise, I'll get it up there. I promise. Got. Got. Dog it. I got a hard drive. You want a hard drive? Oh, yeah. Actually, I got 12. You want a hard drive? Right, let's get this thing out of the way. It's not even straight, but I don't need that to be straight. I just need this. Yeah, a certain level. Yeah, I just need this to be straight. So let's... Whoa. He's constructing, I'm constructing. What am I doing? I'm making the biggest banshee I've ever made. So in other words, the world's biggest banshee. Because it's mine. <laughs> so there. <laughs> but I need a oh, this is about to this is about to I don't know what Blow this is up. about to be. What do you got? You good? Did I see every there. time he does something? Every time he does something like this, and you guys are here to see it, you're seeing the most advanced technology NASA has usually ever used. <laughs> oh, you! We take you, dude. We take you out of your comfort zone. You don't usually like to do this, and we make you do this, and then like, oh man! Usually, you like what comes out of it. Usually. I mean, granted, there's some there's some disastrous stuff, but you got to go through the bitter to get to the batter. Did I just use that phrase again? I gotta stop. Hell, I don't even know what it means. I'm cooked. Whoa. There we go. 
Oh my goodness. I don't know if that was even big enough. That's what she said. Okay, there's no time for that. Look at how tiny down. this turned out. Wow. Well, yeah, but again, I mean, not bad for a first test. I mean, you, it's not like you can't make multiple more. I mean, that's the thing is you're practically making interchangeable whatever you want to call those. Let's tentatively call it a tailplane because it's essentially what it is. I mean, but when you look at it, it just needs to be taller. What do you mean? Like, thicker. Oh, you mean more depth? Yeah, depth. Well, I mean, that's true, but I mean, this act just, just acts like a strike. So, again, I mean, you can keep them, and like I said, this is interchangeable. Just use those and try a different set. You know, make, a, make three so, or four of them. So, my question is, how do you get them... To sit in there? To sit in there. Do you tape them in there? I wouldn't even do that because it's the manila folder. When you make the cut with your, make the cut with your exacto, because your exacto is going to make the thinnest cut possible, and just slide them in. I mean, again, test fly it first, see what it does, and see what you're going to have to do to get them to hold. If you want, you could give them a little bit of a dip fold, like your wings. How, um, you don't. You obviously don't cut it right at the back. No. Well. Yeah, I would probably cut. Well, you, yeah, you're right. You probably should slice it through because it'll just slip out. Yeah, so cut it. Yeah, right about there. Yeah, there you go. Just cut it right there. And um, what I was getting at, though, is like, you see mine. You see mine are like yours. It's the, the standard V fold. You could make the wing fold to them to make them, we could give them like a gull style appearance. And it would just make them that much more um, locked in. I mean, just like that. Just give them the little V-fold. Give them our little valley. Because then when it slides in, it just locks them into place. And it would probably help keep your fuselage in place, too. So. And I'm trying to keep the angle of the wing that I have going on, too. Okay. So it's not straight, but it's straight with this right here. Right, right. That's good. That's good. That's. But it's not straight with the bottom. No, that's probably what you want to do with 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 just that. Keep it, keep it keep it straight with the wing. Right. So then, what I need to do. Yeah, I know because if yeah, if you kept it on a different plane entirely, yeah, it would probably be way more disastrous than it would be if it's not. So then. You're kind of creating you're kind of creating a biplane, and biplanes don't translate out to paper too very well. In something this small. It could work really good, though. It's like the bottom canards KIA puts on his saber tooth, and that thing is capable of some. You, when you see those fly, you see some videos of those fly. It's like somebody's actually piloting them. Those little canards at the very bottom, like make that well not the very bottom, but he folds them up within there, so they're canards that you can't see from the top, but they're visible from the bottom. Man, that plane. It still glides, but it like makes a bank to the left, then decides to go right, and you're like, dude, who's in that? <laughs> Holy cow, this calendar's thick. Okay, well, that cut all the way through. Holy cow. Okay, well, this yeah. is. This is going to be quite a while. This is going to be quite kind of freaking tall fuselage. Hi. Uh, you guys may have not known me a long time. Mark has. And there's people that know me longer. But if you know, one of the things I like to build about my planes is I don't like a high fuselage. I don't know why. It's just something I've never really concentrated on because we all have our different styles. So, like, I see something like OAE Warhawk, which does have a wide style, and it flies as good as it does. I'm like, man, I should try that. But, of course, I never do. So I go back to having a thin fuselage. But when I get a wide one, it's like, man, cool. Banshee starts out that way. It just it just ends up with like, it. Just, it just doesn't finish that go. way. It just doesn't finish that way. There we go. So now, 
as you can see, um, it's more than double the size of the standard Banshee. This is definitely the biggest Banshee I've ever built. 14 inches long. So that will be cut back. To what? I don't know. What should I cut it to? Let's cut it to there. And then let's cut it. I do all kinds of weird stuff to Banshees. Oh, wait, no. This one. <laughs> this one's going to get... RWFs. Okay, so I need to make that just a tiny bit bigger. And when you're doing the planes this big, this is when you're trying to think about your binder clips. Okay, I also did something really cool with the RWFs by making his, like, RWSs because he made his so bloody small. They really were. They're so small. And it worked really good. S16, 16, you might have seen the videos. Flies really freaking good. And that's all he's got is these little ones at the very back. I've never gone that small. Thinking about it. What I've never done. There okay. we have. Jesus. Okay. Oh. You see the wings just little... pop back out because they're so thick. They're so thick. Huh? Okay. Symmetry is key. Some planes, some planes are just never going to have it. See, Banshee, Banshee is the way it is, of course, because its center of gravity is probably here. There's a lot of weight back there, but, I mean, distributed, but most of its weight is right here. Not at the nose. <clears throat> Definitely not any further back, but right here. That's the bulk of its weight. Oh, my God. And Jim, tell us what he's won. I don't know what day it is. Oh, right, it's July 24. My job, it requires me to write a whole bunch of stuff. You'd figure I'd never forget. Sorry, it's quiet. We're concentrating. Indeed. <laughs> and this is experimental, so I can't fin code it yet because I have no idea where it's going to go, especially because it's a big banshee. It may not go any bloody where, but of course it always gets the code so you know when it was built. So once you do put a sequential number on it, you know, hey, this is number blah, blah, blah. That way, when you fly it, you know it's good or it's crap. You can burn it or keep it. It's blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Oh, it's cinder. Ooh. This thing is a monster. Oh, man. See, this, this is the most expensive. Most, the most, uh, what do you call that? What is that? Oh, look at that. <laughs> what is that? This is the most technologically advanced that NASA's probably ever done. <laughs> probably not, actually. He's done some more things now, but he's never done this. I've never done this. And it's interesting, to say the least. And it actually holds the rear of the plane together really well. I think well. it would, because the, the exacto cut is so super thin that when you pass through it, yeah. I mean, if you'd have made a, a slot, well, it wouldn't even have stayed. But yeah, but this stays. Yeah. Now, did you did you cut the little? Oh, or, excuse me. Did bad, you fold the little that, V in it, or did you no, just leave it? Okay. Oh well, yes, I did at the end because I, I slid it all the way through, and then okay. I folded the them to make them even. So I did it after it was in. Okay. Um, <laughs> I still need something to keep it stable. Um, I need to put strakes on it. You need to put strakes on it. Yeah, those wing, wings okay. are so big. 
hmm, well, you did start out saying that that's what you wanted to do. We just made you go a different direction. You did. And I have paper thingy to cut. <laughs> Is that what you were going to make? That That's what you had before, right? With the floppy thing you were showing us, that long piece was just more manila folded, right? Right, yeah. It was just the piece that I trimmed off of that side, that that one to make that one. This is the other half of the folder. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. You um, can make your strike. Yes, I just need to figure out how long and how wide. Let me go. All right. Did you throw it? He threw it. I have not thrown this thing. If this flies the way the other spec fours have been flying, um, I don't really want to do it in here. If it's... Um, because, again, this takes Banshee right out of its typical close air support roll. And I'm going to slide it right into almost a medium strike roll. So, yeah, going to have to change this up. And, of course, like I was just talking about, with it being bigger, this doesn't translate out well because... The ratio of fuselage to wing makes it look stubbier than... See, a, a typical Banshee looks pretty broad-winged. This one does not because the fuselage is so bloody high. This one, although, truthfully speaking, this is a little bit more narrow than the fuselage usually is. This one is really high compared to how it normally is. Um, geez. About an inch and three quarters. Well... About an inch and a half. Okay, an inch and a half. And considering how this one, although narrow, is at three quarters of an inch, usually it's about seven eighths of an inch. So, so, so yes, as of right now, it uh, it uh, mm, um, d uh, does not does not fly. <laughs> it does not fly. Um, it didn't fly too too well without it, so this only made it worse. But um, <laughs> you, you, I'm not. Did you not fly it with before when you first made it? You didn't fly on it before yet? Or? No, 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 no. I mean, I did, but it wasn't. That's why I knew I added. I needed straights on it so I could give it some some lift. Oh, okay. Because it's so heavy. Oh, gotcha. Okay, right. It's freaking manila folding. All right. And even throwing it harder has not made a difference. <laughs> <laughs> just goes into the ground that much faster <laughs> and again people sometimes these things happen <laughs> but yeah the easiest back here are actually kind of flimsy with as small as I made them oh really yeah no that, yeah you're right because they, they, they come out the wing cord is extremely small I mean and there's obviously length of tip their tip is really far out there so i mean if you were to cut for example if you were to cut some of that off it probably would be but the, the thing is is once you have this you have such a starting point not only can you make different variations on it but you could do such different things as the ones you have you could fold them you could you could fold them down you could fold them up they would end up being little boxes back there you know you could just bend them a different direction just have them keel downwards you can and now that you know how to do this, of course, you could actually put that same slot near the front and then have built-in canards, which is exactly what we were talking about earlier, about having lift in the front. Which, of course, gives me the idea of doing that, but I don't have a bird here with which I'm going to do that. Banshees need no canards. Banshees don't really need anything. <laughs> I'm semi-disappointed in this one that the fact that I uh, made it this way that it's like fuselage is so high I should have at least taken about a quarter of an inch off I wonder if one piece of tape will be enough to one piece of tape will probably work to start but it probably won't last probably won't last I can definitely see attempting to put some kind of um, strikes on this myself because, and I've done this with one of them, because the area here where the fold is, cut this and then fold and you've got it. 
And and hello, kitty. Oh yeah, I'll say hi to the folks. That's our new family member, who wants to say hey to everybody apparently. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> Very talkative. Glad he's there to say hey. Aren't you just? Aren't you just? <laughs> it's like wearing a hat. Is it really heavy? Is it really heavy? What are we trying to do? Oh. Oh. You won't play. You won't play. Don't you just. You see? <laughs> now brought to you by cat. <laughs> now brought to you by cat. <laughs> he really wanted to get involved. So he just came up here and said, hey. He said, what's that? What's that? I'm a cat. And I dance, 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 and I dance, dance, dance. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, as typical cat would do, knocked the flashlight down to the floor, and it turned on because it landed on its rear. And he's now chasing Actually, he's now chewing on the one little straight that I built a little time to get. So now I need to figure out width. I think you, oh, you I, folded them now, huh? Yeah, I got an idea. <laughs> I got an idea. I think I'm going to do that's something. How these always, that's how these always start. Yeah, I'm going to do something a little... I'm going to cut I probably should <laughs> I probably should measure this. <laughs> you probably yeah, should you measure this. Probably should. I just love the fact that like as soon as you said you were gonna cut, the noise came on, so it was like, oh man, he's got the machine he's got the factory working overtime over there. This is why NASA's is a mutual company because, of course, you know, there's a lot of construction. We should be passing off all of our paper to him, and he should just be mass producing our planes for us, or at least fixing them. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. Man, this thing is massive. I don't know. I don't know what to expect out of this one just because of what it is. I mean, again, a banshee this size. I have I have expectations that it's probably going to be similar to these new spec fours. So but again, Banshee's never been this big before, so we'll see. <laughs> Could end up being another dive bomber and then we'll have a competition between Banshee and Vampires and who's gonna hold the dive bomber role. Wouldn't that just be great? Wouldn't that just be swell? It'd be something all right. It'd be something all right. You're probably not going to enjoy it because, yeah, you know, yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah, only you have that problem where you have to have a fly off between every roll. <laughs> That's true. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, wait, he's got competitions too. You saw, you saw him talk about those. Like, he runs competitions with his plans to see who's got that. Don't you dare say it. Don't you dare say it. <laughs> you know I'm thinking it. Yes, I know you are. God. I just want some bacon. <laughs> <laughs> to go with my pancake. God forbid. Hello, little one. Yeah. Little one has came back up there to say hey to the folks. Whoa. What? I hear the bass. Do you really? 
You see, you hear that? You're such a purr monster, they can hear you out there. You are a purr monster. <laughs> Who slipped? Uh, apparently. Apparently. He's flooring. Just trying to make them even now. <laughs> How does it cats have this inherent ability to know exactly where the camera is and go towards it? Okay, so they're not exactly like what I had in mind, but let's, let's do this. Such as it were. Okay. Let's do, let's do this, he says. All right, let's okay. do this. Does that tape taste good? Oh, you're not. You're just sniffing. Mm -hmm. You're sniffing mm -hmm. some tape. At least he's not sniffing glue, I guess. But that could be the next step. You never know. <laughs> you never know. Oh, yes, yes. All right, so now that I got that folded. Gotta watch that. Serious case of rubber cement. Where did you, did you see that? Look at that. You know what that is? That's a piece of paper. She lost. I don't exactly think that's edible. Well, then again, it's paper, but still. Oh, good, you don't like it. <laughs> right. Well, you are going to try it out, aren't you? This, this is my cat. <laughs> That's very cat-like. Like, I am the center of attention. I'm going to be the center of attention, and you can't stop me. All right. Deal. <laughs> You heard me. Uh, well, you know. <laughs> well, he seems to be interested in paper airplanes, so. <laughs> and being on film. Look at him go. Yeah, he likes all the paper scraps. I don't know what to think about this big behemoth, do you? I have a, a wing set like you just made. Well, obviously, because you saw me build it. And I modified it, so I'll see if I can do anything to it. Yeah? Yeah? Think so? You're cute. <laughs> it hits him, so he knows. He knows. Don't ya? <laughs> the new star of the show so we do have a third person but see you didn't even have to cut him in <laughs> I'm not even I don't even have to he's just he's he's looking at the camera like yeah you see me yeah I mean dude like, like I don't know how but cats know they know like Hey, no paparazzi, damn it. Okay, unlike you, I have the option of taping mine, which I may just do. And this is probably the dumbest idea in the world because Banshee uh, doesn't need this at all. But since I'm playing and you're playing, I'll play. I'll, I'll join the fight. So here we go. I have, I have a set kind of like his. Put it on the bottom there. And now I have this. Now you have that. So mine, mine instead of like his, is just taped on at the front. He just carries through because I don't have the strong paper like he's got. So mine probably wouldn't take the abuse. Now we're gonna throw this, and I bet this is gonna make <laughs> a dud. <laughs> He 
she's rather enjoying that. What? It got away from you. It got away from you. It got away from you. You got it. Another one. Wow, this thing is really, really heavy. Well, that could be part of the problem. He's making it heavy. Well, the heaviness of it is what's making it such a problem. Not so much the other stuff. Would you like to write? Are you a writer like Mommy? I, I think he can do this. What do you think? Do you, you want to sign your name? I can give you a sheet to sign your name with. There you go. Hold on to that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cap off. I can't. It's tuxedo black. Did it work or no? Or no. Oh, no. It, it's too heavy. <laughs> it is too heavy. It's too heavy. It's too heavy. It's just diving down to the front. So... I got two options. I can trim the nose or I can trim weight here. I'm trying to debate. I would probably, well, in that case, I would probably trim your weight. Your, uh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Just trim your nose first. Cause but I don't have much of nose to trim. Oh, that's true. You don't, do you? Well, how are you going to get rid of the ones that you're talking about? What would you do there? And then like, like the, the, this weight right here. Just cut like a, like a little V. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. No, that would, yeah, that would work. That would be a good idea. This might be a dud. This plane might be a dud, but we're going to find out. And and again, people, this is probably a situation that you may come across is your heavy transport, your heavy bomber, or your medium, even in this case, might be a little too heavy. There's just so much weight in the front. Yeah. Maybe the kitty would like a really big pen. <laughs> right. <laughs> I think Out of if I all the pen... shows, I mean, really. <laughs> we were doing so good, and then the star. I need, I need some heavy duty scissors for this. Oh, you have a set of break break even heavy duty scissors. Oh, you uh, dropped these, the pen. These, these are not working. <laughs> you little panther. <laughs> Wait, I have another one of those. Look at that. Ooh. They're just larger. They're just larger. <laughs> They're just larger. So they hopefully will make this cut that I'm trying to make without cutting my finger. Without cutting your finger? Why are they not cutting? <laughs> well, it's Manila print. <laughs> you really do it's, need heavy duty scissors, don't you? It's quadruple folded. Holy cow. I mean, it is. I mean, you got your triangle fold and your triangle fold. So that's two folds on top of the original sheet. So it's like five pieces of paper. And then it's trying to cut through both oh. sides. So it's like 10. Oh, yeah. Okay. See what I'm saying? Because okay, yeah, you, right. you got, well, it might be six because you have the center. Which is doubled. Then you have the triangles, the two tr two sets of triangles. So it's literally trying to cut through six. Dang. Hey, that's a, yeah. Okay, so that's a lot. Yeah. Do you have one of those heavy duty kitchen scissors? I have no idea. <laughs> Take your scissors stock. Oh, there go. Ah. There we go. There's, there's that. Okay. You got one cut out. I got that right? cut out. Yep, I got that. Okay. I'm about to cut out a lot of weight. We're about to we're about to really see what happens. Hope I don't cut into the wing. <laughs> chopstick? You like it a chopstick? Mm -hmm. Keep going, keep going. All right. 
You do seem to like his pens. Okay, so I got that. Okay. Now I gotta cut straight, which is the hardest part. Because <laughs> I can't get the scissors. It was okay. It was okay when you were trying to cut, you know, angles and stuff inside, but now that you cut straight, now you're gonna have a problem. <laughs> right. I mean, I could literally. He's all trying to be the star of the show. He's trying to be the star of the show with his claws and his paws. More claw, less paw. One call, that's all. <laughs> It'll be one of those cats eventually that I can actually throw cards on and it would stay put. Err. Okay, so, Hang on. Well, I mean, you know, the thing, well, dude, the thing about it is if you're going to lose weight on that thing, you could probably cut various areas. You could probably cut the leading edge right there at the fuselage right off, that leading edge root extension. You could probably get rid of that. I mean. You hush your mouth. Well, I'm just saying, you're trying to lose weight, so. Oh, my God, you have the giantest ass boxy. <laughs> Push-ups, here we go. One, three, ooh, 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 got some force, and he's got it. I'm literally cutting this off. Well, I figured you would. Is it how hard? Dude, right there, you can start building landing gear into it. You have all my pens. Want to try that one? That's a sharpie. Bring back my sharpie, dude. I could draw new black lines on you. I don't like this one, so I'm gonna add to this one. And I don't have any white out. But you don't have any white. You don't need some gray out. Right. <laughs> Forget this. Forget this. Maybe it'd be. Uh, I was wondering how long it would take. Yeah, I was thinking you might want to go the exacto route. Got some pretty coloring, doesn't he? Do you still have your cat that chases your planes down? No, remember he ran away. I know. I was wondering if you had a replacement yet. Nope. That was too. That was too fun because I still have that video. And he like as soon as you throw the plane that way, he jumps down after it. I'm like cat, stop! Stop, cat! Don't don't crawl after everything that flies. Hold that for me. Oh my goodness. It's so heavy to like cut it as well, wasn't it? Yes, and even the exactos like having trouble, like cutting through more than one sheet at a time. Yeah. I'm gonna have to retape all of that anyways, because I need to clean this up. Well, yeah, but how much are you getting rid of? I mean, is that is that a I substantial mean... amount or? Oh, okay. <laughs> Small, slowly but surely, you're getting weight off of it. I mean, yeah, you can. You, can you know, see it. you know. Alternately, yeah. do you have any tape holding it? Um, not. I did have it here, um, and then I just took it off. Cause I was, was... going to say you could. You could unfold it and just cut off the weight when it's I mean, I completely unfolded. Yeah, I mean, I could. I'm just trying to clean up the cuts now. <laughs> this is surgery, people. In case you hadn't noticed, the way he's doing this is like, I mean, a scalpel and, and like some tongs would probably be needed here.
have your pet spayed or neutered. Just call me. <laughs> as, as it were, he was neutered like three days ago, so. Is that what his problem is? I wouldn't exactly call it a problem. I mean, at least I don't have the ferrets running up here, because that, that would be a whole other bunch of, because they don't even know. The cat is least some semblance of like, I don't want to step there, or I don't want to jump there, or whatever. Ferrets are just, I'm going to scurry all over, and you're going to get typed, you can't even understand. Because that's what they do. That's not bad. What the heck? Oh, oh, you're venting it. Okay. Are you serrating it so it's easy to take off? No, I'm just uh, trimming off the edge pieces, like just kind of grinding them. Right. Cause all this little stuff is going to cause friction. And I it's true. And I don't want it to cause friction. But that is, well, a, that is a good little chunk though. Oh yeah, that definitely is a good little chunk. Can you feel a difference? Does it feel lighter now? It does feel lighter. Also. I mean, it should be. You, you've got a hurt. substantial, yeah, there's a substantial notch growing into it now. So I'd imagine it's fine. I mean, uh, well, better. Of course, you don't know exactly how much weight was causing it to have the issues it was having. You're right. I don't. Now i got to put another piece of tape back here. I am kind of surprised, though. I mean, like, I figured even still with, you know, the shape that you have there, that it would actually perform a lot better than just a rock. It just goes straight down. It just does. Could you maybe give it flaps? I can give it a knuckle sandwich. Oh, yeah. What are your thoughts on the subject? Yeah. Where no job is too big, but this pen is. <laughs> it is so, so heavy. Are you saying it still didn't work? <laughs> it goes straight into the ground. <laughs> I don't know what is wrong. You may like you may have to put maybe it's okay. So you have the weight. Everything is the thing is like you know uh, it's still a Diablo, right? So if you have a standard paper Diablo, usually when you fold the wing pockets, it gives it a nice little like curve to its wings and stuff. Yeah. The the Manila folder is not doing that. Right. This could be part. Of, this could be part of the problem. I mean, you may need to add something to it that would do what the wing curve would do. Yeah, give me a second. Let me go get this thing. Uh, okay. What I was thinking for him was, again, like, if you, you know, a wing curve. Well, he puts the wing pockets on the bottom. But even still, the wing pocket does cause stress on the wings. It would pull the wings down. I think in his Diablos, they have this slight curve from the fuselage out to the wingtip where it's a slight curve down. If he had that, I mean, I don't know how you could duplicate that, but maybe actually in the case of this thing, maybe you should just put, maybe we just put a crease in the wing, like fold it up from the fuselage and then crease the wing halfway through that makes it face down. Even that might increase it somehow. And of course, flaps in the, flaps nope. in the trailer, you know, just nope. put some flaps in there. Nope, just got it. What? What do you mean? What happened? Look at that. Oh, you can't see that. See that? Oh, yeah, there you go. Okay, okay. But, you know, in Diablo, it wasn't that severe. Is that going to work? Uh, we're going to make it work. <laughs> Indeed. And made them eat base. This looks like a kitty mustache. 
This is so crazy. Well, you've done this before, though. You know how to do this. You've probably never had to do this on vanilla folder. I haven't, which is making it like 10 times harder. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I do not want to go. The kitty has discovered my trackball and discovered it's a ball and is rolling it with his paws, but he can't get it to move anywhere because it's stuck in the mouth. So yet again, I have another cat that plays with the mouth. Your thoughts on the subject? Okay. Of course, during the interview, they always get shy. could tape that, but I don't want to tape 15 million different things because I need to figure out what's causing this. I might trim the nose anyways. I might trim the nose. Give it no nose at all? No. Or, oh, wait, wait, wait. What if you, what if you um, made the nose the leading edge? Like, oh, here, wait. I've got, a, I've got a scrap sitting right here. Yeah, you're talking about cut I, it off and let the leading edge start at the tip. Yeah. Yeah, like, like instead of, yeah, instead of, like, here, I always got a scrap piece of crap laying around. Do this and just boom that sucker right. Oh, my God, I can't do that with this one. <laughs> but, you know, you got the idea. I could try it with this one. I don't know if it's going to work. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Goodness, my old. More planes should probably be done this way, but then again, most oh. planes lose all of their weight if you do. That. Look at that. I mean, in a way, that's kind of cool. In a way. I'm almost tempted to try that with something, but I don't know what I would try that with because almost every other plane, except for the one that Mark's got in his hands right now, would get too light if you trim that much nose out. Well, that curve helped. It should. You just gave it some kind of flight parameter instead of a straight wing. Yeah, it helped a little bit. It made it go probably a foot further. <laughs> Although I'm not, I'm not throwing it as hard either. I mean, I'm not throwing this thing as probably hard as it should be thrown. No, because it's made out of the manila paper. I mean, you pretty much have another interceptor if you were to do that. Yeah, but it won't fly like one, not the way that thing's built. No, no, probably not. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, you can't play with those. What do you see? You see a whole bunch of... See a whole bunch of light and the star of the show. But there you go. That's how that's how we uh, build uh, scraps. <laughs> that's how we build scraps. But you do have you do have a basis to work on something. Yeah, work on something to burn. Well, you know, I mean, let like it I said, burn. You you already had a piece of crap even before we got to modify it. So <laughs> right. we demodified it. You didn't know it, yeah. but it, not, not, it, it, it flew. It flew a little bit further than the first <laughs> piece of right. junk. But we did get you to. We did get you to go outside your boundaries now. So you know you got you got yourself a good plane. You got yourself a start. Let it burn. <laughs> <laughs> like a rock. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Can we not have one of these shows go into that? My god. You know, if you didn't have a plane that was like that each time, we'd be fine. You're right. But that's my problem. Herein lies the problem. Well, you know what? You could have a fighter force made entirely of interceptors if you wanted. Guess how they would fly. Like a rock. <laughs> like a rock. <laughs> As strong as I could be. 
He's too country for me. Oh, man, that commercial. <laughs> what are you doing, cat? <laughs> he wants to be the star of the show, which is what cats want to do. <laughs> He's like, wait, wait, what? <laughs> Am I wait, getting what? paid? Am I getting paid for this? What do you think about this? See, every time I try to talk to him in the interview, he just goes quiet. Like, um, so what are your thoughts on the plane? <laughs> <laughs> Same thought he's got about all the rest of them. He, he's okay. trying to type something to the to the to somebody. <laughs> he is, isn't he? Oh man, I'm gonna have to. That's not what the show's gonna be about. The positive sign. What in the world? <laughs> Let's build a plane. Oh, wait, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> and again, this is why you have to have a bigger desk so that we know when you, when it comes in to be problems here, you know, you, you can get rid of the problems. <laughs> the world. <laughs> oh, man. So, it's just you need to the, make the cat channel. <laughs> the cat channel. You're, you're going to need to make a couple more of these planes then. With a manila folder because you see what happened here. Yeah. I see um, what happened. <laughs> what Do happened? I like what happened? Do I like what happened? Well, no. You, you got, well, you've got, again, you've got potential. You could just take um, some of the weight out in the process of building one. I mean, because you have those, you know. So um, in the future, future times you build those, just start cutting the weight out earlier so it doesn't get that heavy. I mean, because it's got to be ways to fix the problem, yes? I don't uh, think... I mean, the weight the weight is pr probably the issue, but it's also probably how hard I'm throwing it. I'm not throwing it. I might not be throwing it hard enough. Oh, oh okay. Well, I, I mean... I just might not be. That would be a great plane to take outside with your windy days that you're out there. Maybe it would turn out pretty well. I mean, well, again, think about it. If you were making a thunderbolt out of that, it wouldn't work now, would it? No, it's too 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 thick. Too much, yeah. Yeah, that's that's too thick. Like even even construction paper is too thick. Right. And All this right. is thicker. This is I feel this is thicker than construction paper. Well, no, yeah, it is. Manila folded, yeah. That that's probably only because I think also like you know smoothness. Um, construction paper was more pliable, you know. Like, you, you made stuff when you were kids, and we've used it even now. It's like, it's once it folds, it, it maintains its fold. Manila paper, like, it still wants to keep that. It, it takes a fine finger to get those things to lay down, you know, and crease properly. Yes, because it doesn't want to crease. Construction yeah. paper will crease. You're right. So, this is... This is an interesting idea. I'm, this is this is giving me an idea. This is making me want to think about this. Because I don't know if this thing in particular would work. But something could. I mean, dude, without a tip now, it looks like a fire cat. Kind of. Uh, this is, no. This is the thing that I made that will look no, like those diamonds. Do. Those diamonds are a lot different than mine. Well, no, yeah, I know. But I was referring to just like the way the front end the slope and stuff like that. I was kind of ignoring the trailing edge. Because, again, this is the one I built that was like the spider. And then I just took the nose clean off. That's a... This is an extreme example of it. Well, no, it's not. Because this is about what you would have to do if you were making your trailing, your leading edge, the nose. And there's a lot of weight in this. This is... I don't know if you can hear that. Pretty solid thunk. So... It's a thunk a thunk. It's a thunk. It thunks. But what have you got going on there? Uh, I don't necessarily know. Oh, well, well, well that's better for the rest of us. You don't know, we don't know. We're going to see what it turns out to be. It, it is, would be really it, cool. It, it is something new, I'll tell you that. It would be really cool if we could come, we, we would be witness to like the first of like the grandest plane he had. It would, it, would be, it would be cool to see that. Well, I mean, I've got some other really good planes here. You know, I've got Ninja. I've got this new new design here. Um, Which one? 
This this one. Oh. That one. Oh yeah, yeah. You haven't yeah. named that yet? No, I haven't named this one. And then I got Raptor. Right. You know. So And they're not Delta Diamonds for a change, so you you Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to expand. If you haven't noticed. <laughs> So, uh, this is kind of intricate already. I like this. Me too. That's why this thing is this big. This is kind of interesting. Uh oh, this only kind. Again. I don't know how these uh, tailplanes are going to affect this banshee. Because again, this is this is not exactly what banshee is supposed to be all about. But it's a plane this large. Trust me, they'll be coming off. Because I haven't even test flown it the way it is. Never test flown a Banshee this large. Never test flown a Banshee with RSTEs. Or, I mean, excuse me, RWFs. Well, now it's got a little tail planing thing on here. Thanks to NASA's creation over there. So, everything about this thing is new. You have to take these things one step at a time. If you're going to test a bird, you can't go putting, like, five different things on it and then, like, you know, oh, it's amazing. What made it amazing? Which one of the five things you put on there made it amazing? You gotta watch out for stuff like that. Yeah, because I mean, granted, it could be a combination of like two or three, but you'll never be able to experiment and get to that point. Right. I mean, you without, gotta without you without you, having multiple ones like before that and after that. Yeah, you can't. If you got the five ideas, you got to put all five. Separated on one, on five different planes before you start combining any of them and see what they do, and even then you might have to build more because, as we said earlier, no two planes ever seem to be the same. Yes, yeah. odd. Which is why but, I like to just build a plane without cutting or doing any of that stuff to it first to see how it flies. Oh yeah. I mean, that make, yeah, that makes sense. And then when you get to number 300, 400, 500, you can start cutting into it and like, okay, this is what this does. Huh, it needed that. Like, I think I made it to the, uh, I do believe I made it to uh, Javelin number 13 before I actually, like, built it and then completely cut the Delta Diamonds off so it was just a triangle. And boy, it hated that. Oh, man, let me tell you something. Don't ever cut your Delta Diamonds off. <laughs> If you've got a Delta and it works, fine. If you got a Delta Diamond, it works fine. But don't add the Delta Diamond and don't cut it off. Man, Javelin sucks when it's a triangle. I can't even fold them in. I tried that too. Well, that doesn't work. Yeah, I, I already know that. Javelin is one of the first ones that I got uh, uh, intakes on. I try, remember trying that because the thing was a pocket. Oh my god, how many times did he hit enter? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. What did you search? <laughs> I didn't search anything. I was. Ugh, I let the cat type in the, um, the description, and apparently he went to freaking town. I think it's moving. I honestly can't tell. Just do control A. I know, but I'm, I'm amusing myself trying to see exactly how much he did. Oh my god, he did a lot. Wow. Because I can see... Oh, there he is. Oh, fine. Okay, got it. Holy cow. He, he did a lot. I'm typing this back in because it wasn't here anymore. What the heck did you just cut off? What did you cut? Oh, okay. Slant there? Okay. I don't know if this is going to work. What do you mean? Why? Is that a... What is that? Is that another Diablo in the making? No. Oh, no, you said it was new, right? You yeah, know, this, is, this is new. Okay. 
You don't know if it's going to work. But I turned it into a Delta Diamond, kind of. Oh, that's cool. Without being one, it is one. <laughs> we are about to find out, folks. <laughs> no. I do not know. Indeed. I Indeed. do. I, I do not know how this is gonna work. This is this is unusual because again, you don't normally get the chance to see. I mean, normally you don't put it in. It just gets made. So, so this could be something. Let's see. Oh, man. Ooh. What kind of paper did you make that out of, by the way? It looks oh, like... it's big sheet. Yeah, um... it's, it's, it's kind of like legal sheet. But a little flatter. I mean, fatter. That is interesting. Did you put the downward slant? Oh no, it's straight. Okay. I did. You. I was just gonna ask it when it was sitting down. It looked like it had it, and then you just flipped it, and I just saw it. So I was like, okay. No, no, no. This is straight. This has a little bit of an angle to it. Okay. The the hedral zoo. Oh my gosh, what is he doing? Didn't you just tell me, didn't you just say, I got to fly the plane first before I actually do any cuts or add-ons or stuff like that? You shut your mouth. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. This thing but is again, maybe, super, maybe this super is how thick. you. Well, maybe this is how you managed to design it. Are you going to make it without the, oh, you're going to make it without the nose already? This is cool. All right, all right. I'm with you, bro. This is. So let's cut that off. Right. Man, G Money at work made me try this new drink or something like this. He gave me. He wanted to show me these drinks he got that's like banana chocolate and like they're vegan or something like that. And I have banana and chocolate at work but I don't have banana chocolate. They're not protein drinks. They're just drinks. And I tried one. And while it tasted really good, dude, it just messed my stomach up something fierce all day long. It, almonds. It didn't say that on the cover. And I was like, oh, man. Like, I couldn't even tell if I was hungry, but I was able to eat. Stomach's been queasy ever since then. I don't know what it is. Never had a problem with it. I bet this is still going to halfway fly. There's still a ton of weight up here. Curb. You better halfway fly. You said halfway? Okay. That gives you that gives you a lot of confidence when you started out saying, like, I bet it's going to halfway fly. But if it all the way flies, this is this is something to work with. Good question. All right. Well, here we go. Test, here we go. Test flight number uno. <laughs> I can't tell if that's good or bad. Oh, that is so awesome. <laughs> So, oh, that was flew. it good or was it bad? That was good. That was, that was good. Okay. I mean, considering I cut the entire nose. Like this thing. Did, but you didn't make it look like this, did you? No, I cut it the other way. Okay. I, so basically it has like like a slant coming, just a small one coming this way. But it's, right. it's there. But it's still right, a lot right. of weight. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it before you launched it. That's right. It has like this weird snub. Yeah. 
And it flies. You're telling me it flies? Yeah, it flew and hit the wall, which is further than the thing flew. I don't even know what to call it. <laughs> A piece of garbage. The Diablo gar the, the Diablo G? Yeah, the G. The G model. The garbage model. <laughs> The T model for trash. <laughs> <laughs> Let it burn. We call it the model B for burn. <laughs> you know what? We need to get some sound effects. Get some sound effects. Let it burn. <laughs> oh, yeah. You want that? Okay, sure. Sure. We can do that. Drop a bomb on that plate. Because <laughs> it sucks. Yeah, that would probably help a little bit. Yeah, uh, get people the idea. Yeah, we could do that. I can get. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna see how much those those things run. I don't know how much. Well, um, you can just get a pocket terminator for ten bucks. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I just get a little. Uh, yeah. You know what? I don't even need to do that. I have a secondary keyboard. And if you tie it to sound effects, will it tie my original keyboard to sound effects? Yeah, that too. Either way. You gotta let these people know what's going on. I mean, I could. <laughs> I'm sitting here. You can see my brain thinking. I know you can. Oh, yeah, yeah. I saw steam coming out of the top of the frame right there. I might do that. Um, that'll probably that'll be my, my task for next week. When we when we devise a new show for you people, we'll we'll have sound effects. So we'll have oinking pigs and bombs dropping and cats meowing. I don't know about those last, well, that bomb maybe, but. Well, I was just talking about the stuff that's happening outside. I mean, you know, we might have other sound effects, but. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. That is a big plane. It's a big plane. I mean, dude, considering. And it still sits upright, like like banshees usually do if it, you fly them around. I mean, uh, well, this one's not because of the tape. <laughs> your stand, your standard banshee just sits right there, dude. I can fit two two standard banshees on there. <laughs> oh yeah, there you go. Once I got the tape the right way. So yeah, it's pretty sizable. This tape is not wanting to work too well. That one does. That one does? My God, it looks like it's sitting at an angle because of the way the camera is. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's kind of leaning. A little bit, but I mean, like... Not, not nearly from, as from, much as... Yeah, from the camera angle, it looks like it's leaning so much it shouldn't even be upright. Yeah. Definitely. There you go. Now, if you could find a way to store them like that, you wouldn't need to worry about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, they. do you think they would still warp, though? Well, no. Well, not, you know what? Not really. I don't think so. Yeah. Not against each other. I mean, again, you know, wherever you put them. In, I mean, if you if put them back to back. Yeah, if you put them back to back. But ultimately, of course, you know what to do. You got to hang them up. You just got to hang them. So once you get a place you can hang them, then then you'll be okay. And then just get you a box that, like, I mean, either either you can transport them in the box only to and from, and then once you're done, you hang them back up, or you have a hanging box to transport them to and from. Yeah. It's a little bit more complex, but if you get to your local Sam's Club, you can find them. <clears throat> Costco, any warehouser. Go into your local Amazon. It doesn't sound weird. <laughs> I can't stand those up. I can stand the behemoth up, but I can't stand those up. And, and it all depends, too, because this way, fan's on. Ceiling fan is on. 
So if it stands this way, it resists the fan very well. But if it stands the other way, it wants to fly, so it flips over. <laughs> it catches yeah. wind, man. It catches wind. Yeah, you can see it moving. <laughs> yeah. You can see uh, it flapping. Wiggling a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Like, I wonder if it would actually... Would it walk? In my, no, new, probably. In my newest edition. Oh, good God. That's not new. That thing's about three to five to eight years old. It's probably about three okay. years old. This, thing, <laughs> this thing's big enough to fit some bombs on it. And the, <laughs> and the, size, of the, and the size of the biggest pen in the world. Oof. Well, the wing kind of dangles a little bit, but it holds it. <laughs> Yeah, the wing is a little frustrated right now. So, yeah, we'll take that back off. Yeah, from, from that weight, but if yeah. you just had a tube on it. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, it could probably handle a tube just fine. Just fine as cheer wine. Ooh, don't mention. See, like a regular pen, it doesn't have any problems. There's no, there's no, yeah, that's nothing. Actually, that's pretty good. Dude, it looks like it's got some kind of gun on it. Let's like, not go there, but everybody's like, gonna try that crap. Like here, let me uh, <laughs> let me give oh this to God, you. Oh God, Here we go. <laughs> Got it. All right, I'll use that. <laughs> I keep forgetting to not put it back down here. <laughs> I just gotta go up like this and and like make it disappear. Yeah, and then just. Screw it, we're just known as the pen guys. Like, here you go. Alright, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. Thank you. But never never mind the fact that it changed blue on the way over here. Well, you know, I, I haven't really found a good shot to hit it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> People really, we do magic on these shows. <laughs> yeah, it's called... Uh, Miraculously, we built a plane. <laughs> the well, you're only batting 500 right now, dude, because you said the other one flew like, like a rock. Like a rock. See, I need to get that sound bite. Like a rock. <laughs> so every time, <laughs> every time we build a horrible plane. <laughs> like a rock. <laughs> <laughs> We're just really not a bad uh, idea. I'm telling like you, it. I'm telling you, it's funny because it it would work. Just like the morning shows, Dingo and the Baby. You but, have, but I am probably going to be out. Well, let me go ahead and give you the dates that I'm not going to be available. Oh, here he goes. Okay. So well, here, here. I'm not well, going to be available the 14th of August, the 28th of August, the 4th of August, which are two weeks back to back, or the 4th, the, the 4th of September, um, and then depending on how I'm feeling after surgery the 18th oh okay it's surgery. September you know some of these people are going to argue that you could probably do stuff while you're you know like incapacitated well the surgery is on the 13th which is the Friday um, of September so it's just a matter of how I'm feeling that next week. Whether okay. or not I can or cannot. But I'm just going to be out of town the 14th and the 28th and the 4th. Like, okay. Well, so I'm not going to be... Are yeah, there, any, yeah, are there not, any replacement shows we need to be doing? Or... Um... Inquiring minds are going to want to know. I mean, the public does clamber for its weekly fix. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, I mean, we might have to come up with something. I mean, even if it is like a 
half an hour soundbite, you know, and uh, you know, half hour is a show, but I'm calling it a soundbite because, as our shows usually do, two, two, three hours is nothing. Yeah, we're at, we're right at two right now. <laughs> we don't have shows, man. We have epics. <laughs> See, epic. See, we need we to. Move, we move <laughs> right on past. I'm, sh- I'm the show. sitting here trying to push a button and trying to get the soundbite. But all I've, got, all I've got is the click. I don't have the. I know. But I think I think we are gonna gonna wrap that up for this evening. Okay, we got a pretty good show in there. Mm. Even even went longer than we kind of anticipated, but it was still we we got some good stuff we, out there. So we it's will cool. we will cut it down to thirty minutes at some point. At least an hour. I mean, thirty yeah. minutes to an hour. Yeah, yeah. I like forty five minutes. I'm thinking like forty five minutes to an hour. With commercials, sure. Yeah, <laughs> like a rock. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know you love that commercial. You guys know that half of these people don't even know that commercial is. <laughs> you got it. They're killing it's me. It's like you know the song, maybe, but did you know the commercial? Uh, no. Well, you should. You should. You should. So yeah, well, like you said, two hours. I mean, okay. Yeah, but we we got some stuff done. We did. We got some stuff done. We got some talk about plans. So yeah, you know, uh, what do you what are we gonna do now, uh, next week? Well, let's do uh, uh, blasted, banger, jigger. Uh, let's do. We could do blasted thing with you. Uh, let's. Here's here's a trick. Here's a trick. <laughs> Why don't why don't we come up with a new we during this next week we build a new design <laughs> okay and, and we and we display it next week and then which we'll is go for, and then kind we'll of what we both did today but okay yeah kind of I mean, kind of yeah they're I mean, not clean sheet designs but they were something neither I mean, one of us did last one that last one was for me which I'm not going to display that since I built that tonight. Okay. So I'm gonna to have to come up with something new. Wow, you really want me to develop something more? Some another thing new, huh? Okay. Or <laughs> You're or, or a new technology that you haven't tried on. Again, particular... something we did this something we did this week. Well, for you though, for you. Well, I mean that again, Banshee Spec Four here. I've never done this, so that's why it's getting the new title. And I mean, this is gonna be. When I get this, when I get this thing out to test fly, this will be a lot different because I don't know what the hell this thing is gonna be. You're just trying to copy me. <laughs> I was more interested in this one than I was in this one. I mean, again, I thought of you when I made it, but this is where I was going because this is how Spec Three came out before it turned yeah, into this. Because that looks similar to something. Yeah, if you've seen pictures of traditional banshees, this is how they morphed. This is basically how they morphed. The brand new thing on these actually is the anhedrals, because banshee doesn't usually have anhedrals. Yeah. But yeah. Um, All right. Good show, people. Um, thanks for watching. And. Uh,